everybody saying don't look for shelter, don't look for umbrella. I disagree. Yes, I disagree. If you have the opportunity to ask for a shout out or ask for a collaboration, please ask for it. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, A. Oh my goodness. How you guys doing? Hello, welcome. See, no need for too much intro. Just welcome back to the channel. We are just seeing my face for the first time. A woman here. So, guys. Today, beautiful Saturday, I was just on my own room. I was like, let me go and lose this my hair that I've tried for me. And before you know, stray bullets, <laughs> stray bullets, and the stray bullets just hits me from nowhere. I'm like, ah, <laughs> me? <laughs> so guys, disclaimer, I'm not a fan of reaction videos. What I mean by that is people just talking about people a lot on their channel. You open their channel, 10 videos talking about other people. I just feel like it lacks, um, what's this word? It lacks originality. But for today, I'm going to lack originality because I'm going to be reacting to a video. Hey, God. See, um, I'm going to be reacting to a video made by um, Sutonye, Soti Mama, Soti Special. Yes. If you are a beauty buyer, especially if you are in Porta Court, you must have seen her video, you must know about her. First of all, Sutonye, I love your videos. In case you come across this video, I've been watching you since, hey, pregnancy brain. I can't remember, but before you now changed your channel name to Sutonye, so huge fan, yeah. And the video you made this morning, beautiful, beautiful video. In fact, you beat me to it because I'm, I was going to talk about something similar. So, back to my viewers, yeah. I was going to even like post the video I'm talking about so that you guys can relate but hmm, as a non <laughs> or as an aspiring YouTuber that I am, I don't want to get copyrighted so I'm just going to talk about it. So let's just dive right into the video. So guys, she made a video talking about small YouTubers like myself that are looking for shout outs or they need umbrellas, hence my umbrella song. <laughs> guys see i'm on this table like shamelessly on this table but let me just explain what i mean but before i do that let me just talk about the thing she made the thing she said the video was very in, was very educative i did pick a lot of very important things she said which i'll be implementing very very important so one of the things she mentioned was that um instead of looking for umbrella shout outs that you should actually put in hard work so i agree with her on this particular point you must put in the hard work hard work cannot be overemphasized because no matter how much somebody shouts you out today shout you out tomorrow next tomorrow if you're not putting in the hard work it will not work so she did talk about hard work i was like yes girl you're saying the truth and then she talked about um what did she yeah she talked about collaborations and i was very happy that she admitted to the fact that she has had collaborations here and there so guys collaborations is very important because even if someone is shouting you out the person's viewers or the audience you're trying to reach cannot see your personality a few of them might click on your videos how about those that have not clicked on your video but if you're doing collaborations a lot of people get to see your personality they can hear you speak they can see you you know everything so they have a rough idea of what you're about so they can now start to watch you they cannot get interested in you see <laughs> that is very important as well but then i the point i really want to talk about is this um hey pregnancy brain is this entitlement mentality entitlement feeling that oh the fact that you dm this youtuber means that they must post you and if they don't post you they're a bad person no i think this one everybody even knows it so please don't be entitled because i feel like i'm rambling a little bit so let me just talk about myself i have dm'd a few youtubers not necessarily to shout me out but i just try to sell myself but hear me out when i say sell myself the truth is um Everybody saying don't look for shelter, don't look for umbrella. I disagree. Yes, I disagree. If you have the opportunity to ask for a shout out or ask for a collaboration, please ask for it. No cap. And let me explain why. I'm just going to give you a simple example. Just imagine um you are looking for a job in a particular line or a particular niche, and you happen to know a big person around you that is in that same line. 
Will you not say if you have the opportunity, you will not ask the person for help, or you will not say, Ah, oh God, please help me out. To, I'm in this line with you, and blah blah blah. You will, however, if the person says no, take your L in peace and walk away. <laughs> Don't now, I think that is the point she was trying to make. Don't now take it that oh, because the person says no, the person is a bad person. No, everybody is striving to be the best that they can, everybody is striving to meet their target, to meet, to meet their goals. So don't feel bad, just keep doing this thing. However, the person cannot just sit down in one place and just imagine that ah, there's somebody over here that wants me to give her a shout out. No. So tell yourself. But the question I want to ask you that wants to be shouted out or, that, or you that wants to be helped, if <laughs> if somebody texts you or emails you with your content, will you help the person? Like, will you help the person? That is to say that make sure that before you are DMing people or you are emailing people that they should please shout you out or help you out, make sure that your content is something that will be what's watched or what's shouted out. This is also going to myself as well. Um, recently, I went through some of my old videos and I was like, ha, ah, God, how did I put up this kind of video? Jesus Christ. No wonder. No wonder people are not watching. The truth is... I can easily take those videos down, but it is part of the growth process. So if you are there and you're already feeling like, oh, my videos are not good, the quality is bad, this one, that one, that one, just keep going at it. Keep going at it because you're going to come back and see how much you've grown. Moving on. Another thing she also talked about is making friends in your community. This one is the one that, let's say, hits me the most because I am very guilty of this. I have been on YouTube for such a long time, since 2013. I talked about this in my I Had No Ambition video, so please check it out. I've been on YouTube for a long time. Everybody she mentioned in her YouTube, in that YouTube video, I've watched all of them from the very beginning. But I didn't used to comment because I just felt like, ah, I don't want people to notice my comments. I don't want to comment this very and I've, I've repented and I've started commenting on YouTubers' videos. If I enjoy a video, I comment on it and it just makes me feel better so make friends and the only way you can make friends your community is by reaching out to these people that i'm talking about so feel free reach out to them it might not necessarily be for them to shout you out you can just tell them oh please i just dropped a video can you please look at see what do you think about it or oh, please i'm new in this niche any tips for me and please if they tell you to pay if you have the money please pay because i mean these are things that they they learn on their own they gather this experience on their own and for some of them giving it out of giving it out for free ooh, does not make sense to them a lot of them just wants to attach a price to it so that it has more value you know say anything when they free sometimes though they get value so please understand with them which brings me to my next point and she talked about about striving to be better putting in the hard work see she made some examples in that video. She talked about people who were helped and then they have grown, they have spread their tentacles. It is very true. If, just imagine, you've been shouted out, people are now watching, please don't relent, don't feel like, oh, I just want to be monetized. So once I just have 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours, I'm good to go. That's why you need to ask yourself the question, why are you really on YouTube? Like... Are you aiming to reach a higher audience or are you just okay with just your <laughs> just your bathroom vlog? So all of all this ranting is to say that Satonye, your video was very educative. I could see that some people could not really understand her. A lot of if I saw one very unnecessary comment, that person was like, um, after people have finished helping them, motivational speakers. She did not lie and she did not deny that. People's impacts on her channel made a lot of difference, but she's putting in the hard work. Let us just get our entitlement feeling in the box. Let us just straight away and work harder. But please, get to this point. If you have the opportunity to ask for help or you can receive help, please grab it. The problem with some of our videos is that we have very nice content, like I, like I commented in her video. A lot of people have very good content, but they need an audience. Let me give this instance. So just imagine you, your content is all about like um, motherhood, womanhood, you're posting about women, children, and most of the people on your contact list are single. They're not married yet. They know your parents. 
trust me they are not interested in that video at that particular time many of them just want to watch something else and i'm saying this because of course when you first put out a video you're going to post it on your instagram story or your whatsapp status that is where it's going to start from so if people are not interested in doing that i can now see why you want a bigger audience so just keep working hard just try and make friends in the community maybe one day one of them will say aha let me help you just like she said all this my unnecessary ranting blabbing talking yarning is to say just put in the hard work and if anybody tells you no don't feel bad of course you can feel disappointed it just means work harder so that i mean tomorrow you don't get to tie your success to anybody's help or anybody's shout out yeah so <laughs> i just wanted to just come and see this real quick mm, i may not even post the link to this video i may i may not even post the video i may not but if you came across the video and you happen to like my face please subscribe to the channel my name is Iwoma. I post video about everything motherhood, womanhood, faith, food, just every good stuff. So just join my great family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.